Good morning everyone. The sun is coming out. That means that we might be able to plant some uh, tomatoes today. We've gotten a lot of rain here lately the past couple days. The soil in the garden has to be soaked. But by using the broad fork, the water just drains completely down deeper into the soil. So hopefully by lunchtime, Caroline and I can come out and work in the garden because we have nine tomato plants that need to be transplanted. Good morning. So it's time to feed the meat birds. The sun is trying to come out and that would be amazing. Wild bunch of birds, I tell you. They will peck your hand in a heartbeat. So I'm on my way now to go pick up our very first incubator. No, I'm not driving on public road yet. I'm just going down our driveway and our easement. But this is gonna be a exciting adventure for us. We've never hatched eggs before. We're getting French black copper moron eggs and olive eggers and hopefully some speckled Sussex eggs. So right here at Tractor Supply, we got our incubator. You know when you make a trip to Tractor Supply, we rarely make trips in town. You always gotta get buckets, always. They're food grade, BPA free, and we always use them on the homestead. I probably got uh, I don't know, maybe 15 of the buckets, but we got our incubator. Came with a one year limited warranty from the manufacturer. And I went ahead and got the extended two year warranty through Tractor Supply. So this is our incubator. Heard great reviews on it. I hope it works out great. If it breaks down, hopefully it doesn't, we have our warranty protection plan. It's day six of our Garden 2020 series. Caroline and I, we're gonna go ahead and transplant these tomatoes in our garden. The soil should be dry enough, we hope. We're about to find out, but we gotta get these in the ground. So we're in the garden and Caroline has spotted a bunch of sprouts. So let's see what we got coming up, Caroline. We got yellow squash coming up, zucchini there. Look at that. We got, I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> we got, oh wait, blue lake bush beans with sunflowers in the middle. And look at this. Do what? Your handwriting is horrible. I hear ya. But look at the green beans. They have come up quick. Yeah. Oh, look over here. We got corn coming up, sunflowers coming up. Our zucchini's doing amazing. Let's get this out of the way. So this area here is ready to start adding some uh, some mulch. Not a lot of mulch. What do you think? We don't want to put too mulch in case we get a heavy rain and that mulch covers up these small sprouts. But we'll keep adding mulch. <laughs> we'll keep adding mulch <laughs> as we go. Now check this out. Kajari melon. It's Kajari melon. Kajari melons. Kajari melons. Look at that. We got Kajari melons coming up. 
I know I put some in this area and nothing. So we'll keep an eye on that. But we definitely have Kajari melons coming up. Which is good, Caroline, because each melon has about, I don't know, 600 plus seeds in each melon. So we can save those seeds for next season. Daddy, catch. I think I caught it. No, catch and go like. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, we got, we got some cucumbers coming up on those three hills. This fourth hill. We got nothing coming up. We can make pickles out of these. Yeah, that's the plan. And then up here, we alternated the Black Beauty Zucchini and Yellow Squash. Looks like our garden is thriving. It took no time at all for the seeds to germinate and start sprouting. Caroline, we did a good job. We got the right soil amendments in. It's just doing great. The green beans sprouted just like that and they're growing extremely quick. A lot deep? faster than what they grew last season. We're prepping this area for watermelon, pumpkin, and some other stuff. Can we um, see if we can like, think that we can get one of those big pumpkins again? Yep, see if we they could grow bigger because um, what we learned from the last garden and the other garden, we could grow bigger pumpkins on what we learned mm -hmm. and from our mistakes. Yes. And it will put like a pallet or something underneath the pumpkin to keep it off the ground to cut down on diseases. But last year we grew what a 72 pound pumpkin? Yeah. That was a big pumpkin. You got it? Yeah. All right, so the first one we're gonna do, we got two California Golds. Now, if you look here at the bottom, there's a bunch of stems coming off and whatnot. We're gonna cut those off. We'll cut this off. We'll probably cut it up to about right here. And then we'll bury the rest. The Broad Fork has done an amazing job with the clay we have and by us adding organic matter to it it has really softened up the clay of course we are in year two of our garden and we learned a lot last year we applied what we learned last year to this season and so far everything has worked out I don't know how, let's see here. We might be deep enough, Caroline. Yeah, that's pretty deep, Daddy. Hmm? That's deep. Well, we're going to be cutting some of the stems off and we're going to bury some of the stalk. Tell me if you, if you feel anything like heavy, because that might be treasure, Daddy. Might be treasure? Yeah. Okay, here, we'll throw in some compost in with the bottom. Ooh, look at all that roots. Now this, has a really nice established root system. So what we're gonna do, actually I should have left it in there. <gasps> oh my god, daddy look, 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 it's turtle. A what? A turtle, come on. What? It's a baby turtle in the grass right there. Are you sure? Come here. Okay, hold on. Somehow this little guy found his way in the garden. It looks to be a water turtle. So what we'll do is we'll take it down to our small pond and release them down there. What do you think, Caroline? Okay. You want to pick them up? No. You're not going to pick them up? No. So this is our pond. So let's grab this little guy up. I'm glad we have a pond. Let's get him in the pond. Oof, he's hissing. He don't like you, Daddy. Down in the water he goes. We rehomed the turtle. Yep. Oh, good job. How did that thing get in the garden though? Did it climb? I don't know. Well, we haven't buried all the fence yet, which we need to do. 
All right, let's go back to the garden. Yep. When you do this, make sure you don't do any damage to the main stalk. Let's carefully take it out. Good root system. Let's give it some good organic matter down at the bottom. All right, now let's see where we are, Caroline. That should be good. We'll have to come back in the morning and cut this off. And we might have to cut this one off. It's real low to the ground. So what we forgot to do when doing these tomato plants, we forgot to do the egg trick. Luckily, we only got three plants in. Caroline has a bucket of some chicken egg. We get to do an experiment. We got three with no eggs, and then the rest we'll put an egg at the bottom of the hole. We'll just slightly crack it and put the tomato plant on top. And we also got our mulch ready to go. To go ahead and fill this in. We got our hole dug. Now we're gonna take an egg, put it in there. We're gonna just slightly crack it. And then we'll put our tomato plant on top. Supposedly that's a huge uh, secret in the tomato grower community. I learned that off of Roots and Refuge. So thanks Jess. These three plants I forgot to do, but from this point on, we're gonna do it and we'll see what happens. At the beginning of our tomato row, we're gonna do some nasturtiums. We're gonna do the papaya cream mix and Empress of India. guys like today's vlog if you learned anything like we did hit that subscribe button ring that bell icon to get notifications on future uploads thank you guys so much for watching we love you guys so much and we're all in this together